Hi lovelies. So instead of me taking up class time showing you how to do a dialectical entry, I'm just going to show you here in a video recording. So if you hear my partner's voice in the background, it's because he talks really loudly, but uh, that's okay. So we're going to talk about a dialectical entry. Dialectical, it's a weird word, but all it really means is to relate to a logical discussion of ideas and opinions. Um, so really, it's just a, a format to respond um, to a text or to a video with your ideas or your opinions. You probably do this all the time when you read something or you watch movies, but we're going to do it with text or video specific content. So this should look familiar. Um, this is the materials page of our class. Uh, we are in week four for this particular assignment. Uh, and I gave you two options for homework this week. So both options are going to have to do with the young lords. But any week that we do this, it could be about anything. It could be about public and community health. It could be about CARP. Um, but we're going to use um, the Young Lords as our example for this. Um, so I gave you two options. You could either read an article about the Young Lords and fill out the dialectical entry, or you could watch a video. It's about a 20 minute video about the Young Lords and you can watch um, or fill out the dialectical entry. So what is a dialectical entry, you ask? Um, well, I'll show you what it looks like and I'll explain what it is. Um, so no matter what your option, um, you're going to see a button here that says um, my assignment or my uh, work or something like that. Um, you'll want to open that and it'll give you your own copy of this beautiful document that I created. Um, also, I know it's kind of annoying. The rubric is there, but then the article is way at the bottom where it says attachment. And so you could open up the attachment there if it ever chooses to load. It's from this um, website called The Gothamist. Uh, and it's an article about the Young Lords. Remember the Young Lords? Neither does the NYPD, which is odd, uh, considering they um, investigated them and are cause of the end of them. Um, so I'd like you to read that and then fill out the dialectical entry. The same goes for the video option. So I'm gonna go back week four, the homework options. If I go to the video, uh, same thing, you can find your assignment here. It shouldn't say in progress, it should say like my document. Uh, and then if you scroll down the videos at the very bottom, um, and you'll Hello, see you're looking at my that <laughs> after the ad. So the, the video is there for you. Okay, back to the dialectical entry. So the dialectical entry, um, it looks pretty much the same for the video or the article dialectical entry. So it's just an opportunity to bring your own background and experience to the reading or to the video. Uh, it's an opportunity to construct your own meeting from the video or to the reading. Uh, and it's a way to provide direct feedback to yourself and to the class on your thoughts and understanding as you read. So there are three parts to this. Um, there's these two columns here where you're going to identify either quotes from the text uh, that jumped out at you that are important to you that prove a point or have a personal connection, or maybe you don't even know what the heck it means, you don't understand it. And so maybe you have a question about it. So really you're just gonna put the quotes from the text here. Uh, and then you're going to write your response here. So the only different thing about the response is that I'd actually like you to label your response um, with one of these codes here. So um, it could be a question that you have about the text. Um, I saw a good question in the Black Panthers assignment last week. Uh, someone asked uh, whether or not that uh, the guns were loaded um, when the Black Panthers um, uh, when the Black Panthers would carry uh, carry guns uh, in front of state buildings and stuff like that. Uh, extra credit to someone who can uh, tell me whether or not that's true. Uh, that not only tells me you watch this video, but you also know that information, so points to you. Um, you could make a connection to your own life, the world, or another text. You can make a prediction about what's going to happen. Maybe you already know what's going to happen. Uh, you can clarify something or uh, disaffirm a prediction. 
Um, you could reflect on something deeply, uh, draw conclusions about it, or you can evaluate it and make a judgment. Maybe the author, um, you disagree with the author. Maybe you don't think the author is uh, casting great judgment. Um, so there's an example that I put here. I put a quote, just a random quote from Salvador Dali, and I wrote a reflection um, about how I find the quote enlightening yet annoying. You can insert your personal opinions here. It asserts a growth mindset to never give up uh, despite imperfections, and I admire that when reflecting on education and teaching. Yet Dali was a famous artist and many would consider his life perfection and therefore it's a, it's an obnoxious quote to me. Um, although I still love Dali and find him fascinating. Last part of this, um, I want you to write three questions uh, re responding to the text uh, that you still have. I've seen great questions out there so far, keep them coming. We won't always use this in class, but it may be a point of discussion in a class um, mostly it's just further reflection on what we're already learning. Same goes for the video dialectical entry. Again, a dialectical entry is just relating to a logical discussion of ideas and opinions. You can do the same thing when watching a video. So uh, just instead of quotes, you don't have to quote the video uh, word for word. That might be a little bit difficult, but just explain three points of information you learned from the video and try to be detailed here. Um, something that was important or you didn't understand or that you have a personal connection to. Then again, you're going to write the response using these codes in this right-hand column. Uh, same codes apply here. You're just applying it to the video instead of the text. All right, and same thing at the end. Write a couple questions you still have about the video. So I hope this clarifies some information about the dialectical entry uh, and what I'm expecting from it. It's again, since we don't have, we only have 90 minutes together, it's really just an opportunity for me to see um, what you learned and what you've reflected on as it regards the content that we um, learned about that week. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. You can email me, text me, remind me. Um, I appreciate you.